Hi there, I have here some new stuff. I would like to share them with you. They are all related one to the other and I will explain why. First, I guess you are familiar with the fact that you want to charge something on a USB and the current is too low. So the problem is that most of the cable, the wiring is not too good. So they don't, uh, they're not suitable, let's say, for fast charge for two amps or something like this. Usually most of the cable are one amp, one ampere current. This one came from Bessus, which, which is a good company. The cable is a quite, let's say, is not very soft and uh, you can see that it is, uh, let's say, more high quality than other cables that I'm used to, to fill. This is a USB a current and voltage meter and power meter and much more. Let's see what it is. So let's open the box and see. Nice, nice box. Uh, so this is, as I said, a voltage, a current meter and much more. There is a PCB with uh, uh, maybe more than one PCB. This is LCD and then you have a PCB and you have some buttons. Two buttons here and two buttons here. Uh, four buttons. This is the input and this is the output and uh, the purpose is to measure uh, current voltage and the other parameters. By the way the LCD looks a little scratchy so I guess there is a, some kind of nylon or something that cover the LCD. Almost sure about it but I need some screwdriver to verify that I'm right so meanwhile let's go over the third thing that is related yes th there is a nylon here I'm sure yes there is a nylon okay so this is why uh, it looks like it had some scratches but no scratches the LCD is perfectly fine this is just a new one so this is why I saw some scratch, no scratch. And the third thing that is related, by the way, no manual, just barcode something. And the third thing is a USB 6 port charger. What's special about this one is that it has also current and voltage and other parameters that it can measure. Uh, let's try all the things together what I mean I will connect this to power I will use the high current uh, cable and I will use uh, the USB uh, let's say analyzer because it has many other things than power we'll see it soon and here oh my gosh I don't believe um. <laughs> okay, I will show you what I don't believe. The USB, it looks like it is flipped. If the correct uh, letters are on the right side, and this is the USB, so something here is wrong. And this will not fit like this, and it has to be flipped. Yes, I'm right. Chinese, but it is, uh, let's say, a bug in their design. Because if I will put this in my laptop, the LCD will be in front of me. Yes, it is. As you can see here. And they didn't get it while they designed it. <laughs> Interesting. Ah, you can't expect too much, but let's see if it's power up. This is will be also a good start. 
Uh, let's try to find somewhere where I can stick the 220 volts. As you can see, a nice display which shows the voltage and the current for each port. Wow, this is nice, I have to admit. And uh, I will use a, a phone if I will find the phone in order to measure the real current. So what we will do now is just connect uh, the flipped <laughs> USB, as you can see, because I designed it not in the correct way. So now I have to flip in order to verify. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Wow, this is nice. As you can see, the Bezos cable have, has a LED here on the end. Why this is nice? Because if you have some discontinuity in your cable and you're not sure from where it is, so you can know that the power gets to the connector itself. Now let's connect it to a phone. Now what I want to see is not the phone, but to compare the reading here, which show exactly 1.02 amp to the reading here, which is 0 0.97. And why the display went off? Because probably there is uh, some uh, standby and as you can see it measured the the watt uh, the milliamp of the uh, charge itself i will do a zoom because this this is really nice you have to see it i will also maybe uh, in order okay i'm sure you can see it now so you see the current is 0 0.8 and here it is 0 0.82 which shows that it's quite accurate both of them are quite accurate and this is really nice let's go about the feature on the <laughs> help menu i don't believe okay so next oh this is nice you can see that you have many screens each press the button on the tops go one side to the right I see a mode unknown it also measure the temperature which temperature I'm not sure but never mind okay you can see here the real current that uh, charge so far and also the power uh, per hour which is uh, what we cost money for the electricity and here what do I see I see another way of seeing it I see there is also another output maybe on the right side there is another USB not sure and here wow this is really nice you have a graph for the voltage wow wow and also a graph to the current. Wow, they really made a <laughs> work here <laughs> on this LCD. Okay, and okay, you can see one minute. One minute is probably the uh, power to the standby. And if I want to change it, how do I change it? I need to change it now, I have a help. A help long press to rotate the, I can rotate the screen I don't believe it long press to rotate wow this is impressive wow it really works to rotate the screen and if okay and now if I want to change to one minute hold 
for setting press to adjust hold for settings so let's hold for settings yes and I can now how to change it maybe presses yes I can change it now I am 8 minutes and then hold I have a brightness let's see how it works yes it really do works number 5 is the best what is the center range Fahrenheit ah, ok this is the temperature how to measure the temperature you have to admit this is really nice they made some work here I have to admit so I will put a link with description to all these parts really impressive let's check that the other output are working now I have moved to number 6 yes it is it can get an output I think to 6 amps for all of them and there is some uh, let's say how it splits between the power so the maximum is 6 amp you can charge up to 6 different uh, devices at once and this is a nice product very nice I think you can use this without the others that give much more details because usually you just want to see the current and the voltage yes and this is really nice okay so that's all for now hope you enjoyed this little video and i see you soon bye